Okay. You can put it down. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today we are doing many things, one of which is the FabFitFun unboxing from Autumn 2020. Both of our boxes have arrived. Yes, and we will wind up at some point with some updates on what's been happening, but I will just start off by saying thank you for all your concern, and we will get to the updates on that later. Yes. So the first box, I do have two subscriptions. I used to have three, but as time goes on, I think I'm six years now, FabFitFun, and as time goes on, you just find products that work better for you and fall in love with products and I just need less honestly in my life so there's only two there's a whole bunch of paperwork of course gather the good $15 off your first FabFitFun box this coupon will be below $45 credit off of your first box of personalized wines what do you have $80 right. meals for less more meals for less is that what this hello fresh just regular generic coupons. The magazine that comes in here has Padma. I don't know how to pronounce Padma's last name, but this is a very fun magazine full of what's in the box as well as some other articles, recipes, etc. Is that lady like an actress or something? Is she, this Padma, is she some sort of famous person? Probably. Okay. <laughs> the first item. Multivitamin mask. This looks like a whole bunch of masks. Oh, yes. So there's a bunch of items in this box that are customizable and then some that aren't. I honestly don't know if I picked this because the box took so long to get here because of what's happening in the world. Um, I can't remember. Yes, this is something that all members got to pick. And do you want to guess the value? So, uh, well, first of all, there are a number in there. I don't know how many is in, in, in this particular package, but... Vitamasks, multivitamin mask set. Nourish your skin four. with vitamins when you use these ultra-thin fiber sheets. Okay, so there are, there are five of these in here. Okay. And I'm going to say the box, once again, my, my guests always go with what I think they relatively should be should. worth. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um... Let's say $19.99. That's actually pretty good. It's $40. <laughs> okay. But I can get a sheet mask on Amazon in bulk, mind you. I'd have to buy a big pack, but for 40 cents. Okay. So even the fact that you guessed $20 is pretty impressive. Hey, man. Me. I'm coming along. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just hand you these out. Um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just used this today. This is truly like a mascara wand for your eyebrows, and the color is clear. Okay, it's for your eyebrows. Okay, first of all, and I was thinking, you, you, I would pronounce this Anastasia, and you pronounced it how? I think they pronounce it Anastasia. Okay. I think that's somewhat. Something's ringing some sort of bell in me for Slash and the co-conspirators have a either an album or a song called Anastasia with really? My, with Miles Kennedy singing lead. First musical reference of the of the day. Very cool. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is for this here. I this is Yes. For yes. Um, okay, uh, it's clear. It's clear. Well, what's the point then? It's, I was wondering if you were going to make that. That's why I pressed that a little bit. If you have unruly eyebrows, my eyebrows kind of go every which way. It kind of like puts them all together. Like, hey eyebrows. Are you just supposed to trim those? I do trim them, but sometimes people don't trim their eyebrows and rather use this to give a fuller look. Okay. Well, it's like uh, hairspray, let's, let's kinda. say $6.99. Okay. That's not even close. $22. Gosh. $22. I'm trying to think. Couldn't you just use like super glue? Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> hairspray, like on a little Q-tip, usually yeah. does about the same thing. Okay. This is a well-known brand. I'm pretty sure I chose this because the other ones I know I wouldn't use. So occasionally I do use this. Okay. Ooh, the Laundress. 
Oh, this is for clothes? It is for clothes. Because it says crease release. That could mean like wrinkle for your skin too. But in this particular case, it's for clothes. Clothes. Which we do use the down, downy spray stuff that we like. We love that stuff. Yeah. So I'm excited to get this out of all of these. This was not a choice item. FabFitFun just assigned you one. So I'm actually thrilled to get this. Okay. I mean, is it unfair to base my guess on by asking you what the downy goes for? Yeah, the downy, I think, is a fairly big... Yeah. It's probably like double that, but I'm going to guess we pay under $10 for sure. Oh, okay. Well, well, then this should not be as much as that then. So yeah. I'm going to say this should be $7.99. It's $16. It is a higher end item. Okay. It smells okay. Yeah. I, but so we'll does definitely the, use the downy stuff smells okay too. Yeah, like we it. really like that just because I'm really lazy with ironing. <laughs> well, yeah, plus uh, we, we don't, we don't really, iron. We don't really need iron clothes for our, our life daily life. lives. Yeah. yeah. Next is, I have no idea, one of these. You open it. Okay. And I will figure out, oh, here it is. This is another item that was assigned, I think. This was, oh no, I had the choice because I'm a yearly member. I had the choice of this. I don't remember choosing this at all, but okay. I like the case. Oh, it's less like uh, utensils. Yes. Ironically, we could use one of these when your family was here just not long ago because we have one fork. We had one fork <laughs> and zero cups. Zero cups. What happens is when they come, we pull down all of our guest bin stuff from the attic. And then I try to try to pull out things I thought they needed since they weren't staying with us. So they were staying at a condo close by and then everything went back up and I put all of our cups upstairs. Well, this is quite clever actually. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're camping or something. Yeah, we have quite a few silverware utensil kind of army things. Like, oh yeah, uh, your, your sister Lisa got this for me. Yeah, and those the, are, like they're in the car. Army knife yeah, they have, you can open up, one has a spoon, a fork, a knife. Yes. And, yeah. So we don't really need these. But, Correct. Yeah. But okay. how much oh, yes, do you we're think? guessing how much these are. These are uh, $5.99. $14.99. Mm, okay. So I thought we would give this away okay. to one of the local um, homeless. We've got a oh, large yeah. homeless population. Couldn't you see, Christopher, somebody like walking sure. around with this? Sure, that'd be great. It also includes a wheat straw. Leech? Wheat. Oh, a wheat, wheat straw? A wheat straw. What's a wheat straw? I have no idea. Is Unless it's it something it's wheat made straw. of. Wheat straw cutlery. I don't get the last. Is wheat straw the color? Or is, yeah, I don't know. Because there wasn't a straw in you here, have to, right? You have to click this little thing. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is actually really nice. Yeah, it is. It's heavy duty stuff. Like yeah, I wonder if wheat straw is the color, which is very confusing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Next item. What well, has a fun little smiley face on it? Like that. <laughs> Okay, this was another item that was just assigned to us. We couldn't choose. This is some sort of beauty. Glow thing. milk. It's funny because, funny, FabFitFun has a community board where everybody kind of guesses and please be careful. I know, right? That's all we use to bring him back to the hospital to get more stitches. Um, in fact, we have those things now that are supposed to be better than stitches. Well, let's I hope we don't have to try them. Yeah, seriously, I'd be but, pretty yeah. excited to try them. Um, and everybody in the community boards was like not wanting this at all. Oh, there. Okay, this is. This was not a wanted product by too much of, of anybody. It's just for like wrinkles or something, or is that I like think crow's feet stuff? No, let me see. It is 8C. Maybe it says 8C. on here. What? Enriched with coconut, this highlighter. Oh. It's a highlighter it's for your face. Uh, it gives you a lit from within glow. Okay, so and it has eyedropper type things. It's an eyedropper. Oh, to me it looks like eyeshadow almost. It's almost the exact color as my skin. I'm pretty tan right now though. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But it smell. It doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. Mm -mm. So you want to guess the price of that? Uh, I think it's a little bit of a sparkle. Well, I'm sure this is expensive, so I'll go $14.99. $20. Okay. Very good guess. Okay. The beauty crop. Good job. Nope, give me this. 
you'll be playing with that if, if I was going to put it off the side. Okay. Next item. I acknowledge your concern, though. A sleep mist. I'm going to say this was also just given to us because I don't remember choosing this at all. It is formulated with witch hazel, lavender oil, rice water. This mist creates a tranquil sleep environment. So does Ambien. <laughs> so this is just supposed to, the scent of this is supposed to help you sleep? Is that Uh-huh. Okay. Helps your sleep environment. Hythe. Hythe. You're not going to like the smell of that, I'm guessing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the smell of it. <laughs> I might just wear it as like, it's not smelly enough to wear as per perfume. Okay. It's okay. It's with hazel and lavender oil. You want to guess the price? $14.99. $22. Here's the thing. If it worked even remotely well, I would totally spend $22. But we all know this is a placebo. I can't even smell it in the air right now. Well, I can, but yeah, a little bit, but. Okay, next item. Okay. Oh, I did choose this. This was an item everybody got to choose. It is the Celery Green Cream. <laughs> this oil-free moisturizer targets the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone. Oh, love the smell. Very oh, fresh. Should... It smells like a cucumber. Oh, that's exactly what it smells like. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't like eating cucumbers. Well, why would you like the smell of it, though? I do like the smell of cucumber. Okay. All right, so again, I'm sure this stuff's expensive, so, you know, $14.99. $55. Oh, my gosh. The <laughs> brand is a fairly well-known brand. It feels nice. It's very pretty. I wish the label wasn't on it. I wonder if I could take the label off of it. Yeah, that's nice. And then just sitting there, it has like a rose gold kind of copper color. And the last item, which we had a choice, I will let you okay. open that. The value of what's in your box depends on what you choose and what FabFitFun sends you. Um, the cost is about $50. You can get a coupon code, of course. And the total value <laughs> based on the MSRP, of course, is $214 to $544. Well, on the, on, at first glance, it looks like toilet paper, which would be quite good. Because that would be good. Mm. Definitely not toilet paper. Definitely not toilet paper. Ooh, a fancy little thing, though. Open it up. Well, I want to show them the fancy little thing first. This is something I thought we might be able to use, whether in the background or actually as storage. Just one of these, like, what do you call those things that go keep going inside things? Russian nesting dolls. Russian nesting dolls. Just two. Oh, and this is just the, don't eat that stuff. Keep it moist. So this is just to store stuff in. Yes. Okay. Probably uh, not food safe, I no, wouldn't think. No. So more decorative, like for tissue, uh, well, tissue paper, but like cotton balls or toiletries. Hard candies. Thing. Hard candy. Uh, okay, let's say um, oh, $19.99. $49. Wow. Here's the thing, though. We all know we could go to Target and get these for probably $19.99. <laughs> so the price is definitely inflated with FabFitFun. But collectively, these items might actually be worth about $50 or what you're paying. Well, in my mind, I, I would like to go to Dollar Tree and get some sort of container. You think you could? Oh, yeah. Any container at Dollar Tree, yeah, but I would not pay. this container. But This yeah. container, you might be able to find like one of these for maybe $9.99, $6.99 at Home Goods. Okay. So we got that. Which, how much would you pay for this, actually? I told you, I, I, before, I, I'd go to Dollar Tree and get some sort of container, if I needed a container that bad. The crease release, which we will actually use. Yeah. The glow milk stuff, eh. The sleep mist is immediately going away from our lives, so we will be giving this away. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. The green cream, I am anxious to try. I will try that. The masks, we will pass along to other people. 
the silverware, probably Christopher if we can find him or somebody else. The clear brow gel I will keep. I do sometimes use that. And was that everything? Uh, One, I think so. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items. That should be everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can put that over there. Or? Yeah, I'll keep it over here for now. Okay. Here is the second one. Okay. Now, is this box supposed to have different stuff in? A little bit. Okay. I get to I got to choose the items, but some of the items you don't get to choose. So if you're annual, I think you get to choose five of the eight, okay. and five at fun will just send you any of the three. Eighty again. Got it. And the coupons. Yep. Coupons. This is the same. One of the same. Oh yay! I'm very excited. Did I get to choose this? Because I absolutely would have chose two of these. No, they threw that in for me. Yay. This is a celery thing This again? is a celery cream. I did choose that. That's the same. The Sleep Mist was FabFitFun's choice. I would not have picked that. What are the other options? Hold on. Okay. We could have received Room Spray. I might have actually used that depending on just like um, a Lysol kind of oh, okay. scent. But it's just the smell. It's not to disinfect anything. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So like a Dollar Tree. Yeah. room freshener mm -hmm. um candle room spray or a mask so we already have masks so yeah. whatever but just a little side note on a dollar tree spray isn't it weird how remember we've been looking for the longest time for glade powder fresh spray and nobody seems to have it anymore nope can't buy it online either we tried oh maybe these are the same boxes yes well no there's something different in here okay some more masks this is the first thing different, I think. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take that out and we'll get rid of that box? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wait. Here's some else in here. Oh. So this was a choice. <laughs> I remember none of this. So instead of the copper um, vessels, we got a rose gold curling wand. Is this electric? Uh, yes. I just didn't see a wire. As opposed to cordless. They yes. do have cordless yeah. curling ones right yeah. now. Okay. You want to guess the price of that? dollars <laughs> uh, $14.99. $99. Gosh. Why, why would that be so expensive? I What's have no idea. Be? Is this supposed to be faster or something? Maybe? I think it's ceramic. Is it ceramic? It's just because what it's made out of. Tourmaline infused ceramic. Yeah. I don't know what tourmaline is. Uh, a stone. You know that? I do know tourmaline is a stone. I'm not sure of how much tourmaline is in there. <laughs> how, how do you know tourmaline is a stone? Uh, I know a lot of stuff that doesn't help anybody. <laughs> yeah, well. Ooh, look at the color. Good color. Was this a choice item as well? I think it was. It was a choice for annual members. This was instead of the brow gel. This is a mason top glass water bottle with neo neoprene in turquoise. Yeah, I haven't even had a little markers here, but why would you want a glass one? What's it, I mean? Better for the environment. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want a glass one because I drop everything. Yeah. Seriously, I will not pick something up if I know I can't drop it because everything just winds up on the floor. So you want to guess the price of this? I hate the feel of this as well. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. I do not want to touch oh. that. Okay. Let's see. Glass thing. Um, $14.99. $35. So you could have a choice of this, the brow gel cleansing cream, which is just basically soap. Mm -hmm. A walnut facial cleanser, again, soap and coffee scrub which I tried and broke me out. Mm. Okay, well, so the last little thing is, that, yeah, right there. is cuticle oil. And I am glad to get this. I don't know if I chose this or um, they gave it to me. It looks like I chose it. So I am glad to have it. I have really bad cuticles. Uh, who cares? <laughs> I don't. You could have the cutlery set, the cuticle oil, hair oil, or barrettes. Mm. Or like um, 
sugar cube cleansing, like exfoliation little cubes to rub all over you. Well, I think was a good place for a little story because you've heard me talk many times about BC and the gang and BC's right hand man for like 25 years is a bass player and excellent bass player and singer called Doc Mambo. And for some reason, every time he announces me, like if I'm going to come up to sing or something now, he calls me Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. <laughs> so that's your mind. He's always like, Sugar Bear is in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has a very, the smell is really good, actually. I was going to say, um, for cuticles, you can also use coconut oil, olive oil. It has that same kind of consistency. It has a little bit more shine than that might be, but... That's just supposed to moisten your cuticles a little. Yeah, it makes them look a little bit healthier. I'm sure it helps past mm -hmm. the skin, but I don't know. Right. Okay, so what would you like to keep? Keep? <laughs> nothing. There's nothing I want What are we going to do with this mason jar thing? Give it all away or something. Yeah, that might be a good... Yeah. Maybe I'll put it on Patreon as a giveaway. There you go. Or yeah. I usually yeah, give away a box. Excited. So I'll put yeah. together a box of yeah. stuff. Um, possibly the curling wand because my mom came down as i said and she was like i'll take your blow dryer and whatever and i'm like okay those are in the attic she's like you don't use your blow dryer like, no no i never use a blow dryer <laughs> well you shouldn't i mean not i mean you shouldn't say never you used to say well i use it when you're in town once in a while <laughs> that's about it like if we went out to eat like the other night when you came to hear the hear the jam session did you use your blow dryer oh i think i did use a blow dryer yeah, because it was like a night out with the family. and Yeah, it was like my one night in five yes, years. Yes, yeah, yes. that was really nice. I'll pop in a picture. Yeah. Um, okay, so those were the FabFitFun. There were other choices, but um, there were some bags. Lisa chose a bag. My sister, I picked her box for her. There were some bags. There was like this little knit crocheted basket thing. Mm -hmm. There's a few pieces of jewelry. You Basically, could, if you like, go ahead. You could have gotten glasses to it. Glasses. I'm sure those were light blocking, like blue light blocking. Mm -hmm. I used prescription glasses or um, when I look from afar or if I read, I don't wear anything. Okay. But if you like that kind of thing, I think FabFitFun value is absolutely still there. Will you use everything in the box? Probably not. But you can always find a place to gift or donate these items or resell them, honestly. I know FabFitFun doesn't love people buying boxes to resell, but we're, we live in the real world. People will resell some of these items and sometimes pay for the box it sells and then you get to keep. Plus, we're never really sure what their rationale is. Like, they're, they've sold it to you. They've made the money that they want to make. Why do they care if you sell it? It Don't seems know. ridiculous. FabFitFun. We don't, uh, we don't, we don't get don't a fit fun. I know, but I know they didn't like me buying boxes to resell boxes. So now I don't do that. Okay, good And enough. I gift them away instead. Yeah. We are going to cut okay. and clear and come back and discuss some other things and open some more boxes. All right. And then we'll go. So think about like five minutes-ish. That's a lot longer than you actually what happened for okay. okay we have everything cleared up i got something to eat and next we are going to talk about this lovely man sitting before you <laughs> well as some of you know um i had a prostate surgery recently this would be number three and the reason is sort of a mystery to even the doctors. It just keeps growing back. So hopefully this will be the last time that they have to do it. So they went in and we're not exactly sure what they did because we have a follow-up coming up and because of COVID, she wasn't allowed in there all the time. So I was, you know, as most people are, you're out of it with anesthesia and stuff. So I'm sure he told me what he did, but I remember nothing yeah. <laughs> about it. When we realized he would probably have to go in for a surgery, they scheduled it for the end of October. And that was just because with COVID shutting down all sorts of non-emergency surgeries and the surgery center being shut down for months at a time, now that it's back open, all of these surgeries need done immediately. So his wasn't supposed to be till the end of October. 
We called and um, without pestering anybody, I asked if we could be put on a cancellation list and I did that. I called again just to make sure we were on that cancellation list because some things go through the hoops, loops. Something get dropped, drop, dropped in the cracks. They get That's lost the in the cracks. Lost in the cracks. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, your insurance company actually has to give the Approve okay mm -hmm. for this. So that could take up to 15 days. Well, thankfully, we're in a very great position with this that we just paid out of pocket. So we paid for the entire surgery. And if you're wondering, it was less than $2,000. And then we will submit all of the necessary paperwork to the insurance company to get reimbursed. We are hoping to get reimbursed, but it isn't the end of the world if we did it this way um, and we're not, but we are expecting to. So with paying cash, you kind of jump to the front of the list then. <laughs> so thankfully um, we paid cash Thursday. Friday, we were called by the sweetest woman named Connie, who had actually given me her personal cell phone. I didn't use it, but it just felt weird, but she gave it to me and she said, what do you think about this coming Monday? So that would have been September 21st. And I said, that's great, but please keep us on that cancellation list. We are ready to go at any time. So what they're started to do by our own choosing is fasting after midnight and not drinking anything except very small sips of water. We had already taken him off of any kind of aspirin, not that he takes aspirin all the time, but we told him no aspirin. I took him off of all the vitamins and any kind of medications that would have posed an issue. We had bring, brought him to um, Quest, which is our lab down here for blood work to get that all cleared. These were steps we did on for his behalf to be ready at any time. So Wednesday morning, Connie writes, this is Wednesday before the Monday he was scheduled. And she said, has he had anything to eat or drink? And this was just after eight o'clock in the morning. So I was like pretty excited. Mm -hmm. So I said, no. So immediately I came and woke up Bear and said, you haven't had anything to eat or drink, right? And he said, no, nothing. So sips of water were fine. So I said, it looks like your surgery is gonna be today. So over the course of the next hour, the surgery was for sure going to be that day. Bear had been playing that night. He was supposed to play. Yeah, well, that was the one, the one night I had a gig lined up and uh, I have a every other, Wednesday regular solo gig at a local restaurant, Italian restaurant. But fortunately, a friend of mine who's an awesome trumpet player, his name is Chuck Wyrick, and uh, he also sings and does a solo act. So we got him scheduled to do the Wednesdays and I'm not there. So all I did is I flip flop with him and called him and said, hey, can you take this Wednesday? I'll take the next Wednesday. So he was able to cover it. So that was. That you was had it. already spoken to just about everybody. Everybody, and everybody yes. was on the same page. Yes, like yes. whenever the surgery comes, because Bear had a catheter and yeah. he's had that before. And there's just a lot of complications that come with having a <laughs> catheter as well as honestly, it just doesn't feel good. Well, it's, it's, I mean, been a rough couple of weeks yeah. uh, <laughs> with a, a lot of stuff happening and um, just, you know, being sick plays with your mind mentally as yeah. my poor girl knows is sick, you know, has to deal with her disease every day, but she does an awesome job of taking care of me as usual. And, um, you know, so she, <laughs> she did once again, we're hopefully this is the last one now. And yeah. So he's just a few days after surgery. Your coloring isn't the best, I have to say, and you're still not feeling 100%, but recovery is probably around two weeks, and today's day three. <laughs> yeah. um, this, we're not sure, has anything to do with the pancreas and the stomach ache Spare has been having and was in the hospital for in June, but this was definitely... Um, this overtook that and this was the most important so once now that this is out of the way we can continue on the stomach ache quest i don't know maybe this took care of it but we're thinking mm -hmm. it didn't so that's where that stands mm -hmm. uh, the one thing you said uh, i i don't know that you said uh, paying put us to the head of the line i don't think i would hope not kind of in a way that paying didn't move us to the top of the line as much as just 
um, everything was approved. The blood work was all done. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't. You're know right. That. Maybe the yeah. pain didn't get us moved, right, right. but we didn't have to go through any insurance companies. Right, we didn't have so to go to insurance. That yes, yes. Allowed us to go to the front of the line, not having to deal with right. pre authorizations. Yes. If this is yes. approved, if this is approved. Yes. You're right. Yes. It might not have been us. Yeah. Paying, but by us paying, we cut well, out it was, like I said, it was because not very few people are going to have all their blood work in. They're going to start fasting. You know, we, we were trying to get that all lined up, so we got the last minute. We call, had a so. bag in the car. We were ready yeah. at any yes. point, and we told yes. Billing we pre-op uh, the um, anesthesiologist knew all of his. Mm -hmm. He he really didn't have anything, but everybody had spoken with us. And we were ready to go and everybody yes. knew that and the day of the surgery which was wednesday just a few days ago the doctor wasn't even supposed to be at the surgery center he was called in for a last minute kind of emergency person and then they got barren after mm -hmm. that so as soon as we heard they could get you in we were like on the way out the door and she was like i don't know what time and we're like that's okay <laughs> we will be sitting in the parking lot yes. and she's like you guys are crazy i love you <laughs> And I said, because if it's in an hour, great. If it's in four hours, great. We could be at the parking lot yeah. there yeah. just in case things change yeah. or he can get them in any sooner. Yes. And that's what we did. And some of the toughest parts of all of it is, of course, I don't function very well without my girl. So, you know, when she can't be in there with me, things get said and done and asked that I don't know the answers to. <laughs> you did fine, though. Okay, that's They had good. to call me once, but everything yeah. else was fine. Yeah. And I, unfortunately, I don't remember that traumatic experience that was a post-op thing i came out of doing things that i didn't know was happening and so they broke a little bit of rules and got her in to rescue me yeah they let <laughs> me come into recovery and everybody was so sweet everybody's so sweet yes we we've gifted them a few little things but i have plans on doing something a little bigger yes and thank you for all of your concerns we yeah. appreciate it and hopefully no more surgeries for you yes Hopefully. Be healthy now. Yes. <laughs> the next box we are going to do is called the Confetti. I don't know what this box is called. It's very heavy. Confetti Collection. Okay. Ooh. Do you know anything about this box? I only know from you that there might be something fun in here, you said. Something fun. <laughs> this box is $20 and oh. is every other month. Okay. Why don't you pull out the whole thing? Okay. There you go. So you just saw FabFitFun for $50. Yes. And FabFitFun is quarterly. Okay. <laughs> well. It says here late. Should I open this? Yeah, go too? for it. Okay. By the way, go for it is one of my girls' sayings. It's like she doesn't really, it's like a challenge. Like if you say, well, I'm going to go get a soda, she'll be like, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> like you have my full permission. Why are we even asking? <laughs> late summer picnic. Apparently, this is uh, various accoutrements to have a late summer picnic. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So cook your favorite meal to celebrate the ones you love. Use the recipe book and meal planner to help organize your busy weeks. Okay. Well, we start with some napkins. So this is kind of like a stationary plus box. These are paper napkins. Love them. We will absolutely use these or put these in the car. We can always use napkins in Indeed. the car. Weekly meal planner. <laughs> well. Very cool. Yeah. And ramen, 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 ramen. Yeah. Ramen. Even has a magnet on the back. This is something I this would have used great. at one point in my life when I was more serious about my lifting. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be for meals. I realize it says that, but this could just be like midday, like break up the day into three mm -hmm. sections and Monday through Sunday. So this could literally just be a calendar. Yes. In front of you, and it's and, a peel-off pad. And like I said, it has a magnet on the back, so you can stick it. Yeah, it feels really nice. I'm yeah. guessing this probably was at least $10, right? I would suppose, yeah. Okay. Blank sheet of paper. Blank sheet okay. of paper. These are just recipes, I guess. 
Does it say on the front of the book what well, this is? Well, it says recipe Kitchen notebook. Kitchen recipe notebook. But I, I assumed it was actually recipe, but it's not. I, I, it's stuff that you write in yourself, I guess. Yeah, so this is There's no actual sweet. recipes in there. So it's broken up just like a cookbook would be by like soups and salads, main dishes, side dishes, desserts. And they have it lined with little folders too. Um, and like from the kitchen of oven temp directions, but you can write in it's your own personal your personal now We do have a few recipes on scraps of paper. We do have a few for peanut butter icing and coconut cream pie mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think we'll probably gift this to somebody. Oh, who absolutely. Could use yeah. it. If yeah. this was just a lined notebook We would absolutely use this at some point. Yes. I don't know why yeah. we've got a lot of notebooks But um, I like how everything matches so far. Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Keep going. Some plates. Small plates. Small plates. Fun little design on there. We'll keep those. And some larger plates also with some fun designs. Yeah. They have the print of everything else. Everything matches perfectly. Mm, it says eight. We don't have eight friends, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that we only got eight small plates, but then 16 big plates. I wonder if they meant to do that or you were just supposed to get. Yeah, that is weird. Right? right? I don't know. What's up? So far, this is really pretty. Yeah, it is. Is this a wine tote, I'm assuming? Yes, or some kind that's of... what it is, yes. It would be a wine tote, yeah. Because it's even, like, lined a little bit. Oh, it's like coated. Yes. Like a coated, what does this say? Wine tote. Mm -hmm. Fishnet is the print. Okay. So you could carry this just about anything. You could put shells in this on the beach or whatever, but it, it does have that kind of cylindrical. It's a size for a wine. Yeah. Well, yep. It's very smelly. Oh my goodness. It's like plastic. Oh, it's uh, what the, that is uh, petroleum based. That's yeah. That is. I'm sure that'll air out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some straws. Oh. I'll show you from this side. Very fun. They have little flowers on them. Yeah, are they are these something more than what I'm thinking? Like, I see they're in a vase. So mm -hmm. is it is it just the straw to drink out of, or is it something special that I'm missing? It's a straw, but if you had a small vessel to put them in on okay. your tablescape, okay, they would look like little flowers because they have a little topper on them. Okay, the, so that's not a functional thing, so your straw doesn't fall down in your. Oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> right, uh, maybe it just says toppers. Okay. So that was all $20. What yes. do you think about that? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, you know. I, I Not for us, but what yeah. do you think the value? The value probably is pretty good, yes, because yeah. this, this, yes. Yeah, these two alone, again, we wouldn't use this type of thing, mm -hmm. but we, we probably also won't use it. Well, yes, we probably wouldn't use most of the stuff, but a lot of people are into wine these days, so this is a very... Uh, a nice holder. Yeah, could, very nice. Very nice holder. Other than the smell, which I'm it, sure it'll... It would wear. actually help keep it a little chilled, too, because of the material it's made out of. Yeah, it's like a heavy canvas, a kind of. A little bit. Okay. All right. So that was that box. We will put this to the side, sort of. <laughs> Next, we have a box from Bailey's Bargains. This is fan mail. Oh, fan mail. That's the real Wow. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> is this fan mail? Mm. Or did I just order this from somebody? This is surely an order. Surely an order of ribbon from someone, right? I hope so. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at that tiny little one. Okay, so I order a lot of ribbon. So I recognize the person. So this could have truly been from her. Thank you so much. If it is, I have to check my order history to see if I ordered this and paid for this or a subscriber just sent me a whole bunch of ribbon. Mm. Either way, I'm thrilled. Yes. We will absolutely use all of the ribbon. Mm -hmm. It's even a nice um, bag. See, it's got like, yeah. silver. Mm -hmm. Quite taken by your plastic bag. <laughs> okay. Okay. The next. I am 90% sure it's fan mail. This is from Pierce. Oh, here, you want to slice that open mm -hmm. for me? Thank you. Please be careful of the brooch pins. 
Melissa and Bear, here is a fun lot of items for you to keep, sell, or donate. My husband is a realtor and he's currently flipping a home. He found this lot of jewelry in a dusty part of the house. Oh my goodness, that sounds so much fun. Mm. And we thought maybe you could do something with it. We get lots of random things that are left behind in homes he sells or flips. The other items are newer and from my house. Maybe you can keep, sell, donate these also. Fun. I love the tissue paper I bought from you in the past. It is wonderful and I use it to wrap the items I sell online. I have enclosed my husband's business cards so you can see who he is. Feel free to show, mention him on your video or whatever. Oh, very fun. Oh. He sells in the Sacramento, Rockland area of California, but can sell anywhere in the U.S. I love your show and your mom's show. My husband is almost as tall as Bear. He is six foot four, but I think your husband might be six foot seven. Bear's six foot six, but everybody guesses six foot seven. He does appear slightly taller. And his name is Pierce? Pierce. Pierce Plam. Yeah, I'll put the, um, on the screen. Yeah. And in the link bow. Mm -hmm. um, always comments that he thinks Bear is super tall and mm. it's nice to see another tall guy. Hi, Julie. Thank mm. you so much, Julie and Pierce. Yes. Okay. We are being, be oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this might be a separate video. I'm going to make this a separate video. Okay. Because this just looks too special. Okay. So you're going to have to wait for that one. Yeah. Okay. This is a brand new shark vacuum attachment. Oh, this must be from her house. Seriously, because this all looks like way too much fun. To okay. Put. Oh, okay. There's rainbows. Well, you're either going to have to do it or not. Do okay, it, we're so. not doing it. We're okay. not doing it. We're not doing it. All right. Okay, put that to the side. All right. We have some other fan mail. We have a card that says Melissa. Thank you to everyone who sent my mom a birthday card. She posted on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, a uh, big thank you with all of the cards. Sweet Melissa, mm. song reference for Bear. Right, sweet Melissa, definitely. What a thoughtful thing for you to do for your mother. I just hope this card made it to you in time. It did, and she obviously put a card in for my mom. The relationship that I see you and your mom share reminds me very much of my mom and me, besties who love to laugh. Enjoy the big celebration. I hope you get lots of cards. Best wishes, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Very nice. Okay. Happy mail from Remy. Hi, Remy. You want to open that? Sure. Oh, I did open it. Well, I'll take it out. Oh, we know Remy by her handwriting. <laughs> She's got such good handwriting. Oh, pretty card. Come on. And so we can just show this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This handwriting, we just watched a show last night, a new on Netflix uh, about these organizer people. Yeah. And one of the ladies' handwriting is so nice, they made it into a font. They get absolutely dealt with oh, hers. Oh, totally. Yeah. It looks like a font. Yes. Hope you were doing well. I love the goodies you sent to me. I love that you love my handwriting. I have good news. I have made the official move to Las Vegas. Congratulations. Wow. My company gave me the A-OK -okay to be a fully remote employee. I was paying almost $2,000 a month for my 420 square foot apartment. Didn't want to waste that much money anymore. Santa Monica was great, but Vegas is my home. We are now four people living under one roof. My mom, dad, my brother, and myself. And we get along, too. I have sent a few of my favorite pieces. Enjoy. Stay safe and healthy. Best, Remy. Thank you, Remy. Very nice. Yes. Oh, some thank you bags. Some really pretty flowers. Great for jewelry. I will absolutely reuse those. What are those? Current hand, san hand, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer um, package toppers. Oh, so smart. I'm going to look for those. I wonder where she bought these. This would be a really good package topper right mm -hmm. now. Yes. Oh, little hollow bags. Oh, that was, I didn't know yeah. what that was. <laughs> those are adorable. For like a ring or something you can put in there. Yeah. And what's the pink thing? I assume it's just another bag. There's a, oh, there's like matte pink. Is there two of them? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to decide here. Bear is trying. Yes. 
there's two of them and those are just different size bags i believe yeah but they're a matte pink and the inside is like a iridescent or a hollow yes and cool. then there's you missed no. those fragile mm-hmm it looks like tape yeah you want me to do it for you <laughs> i know you're not feeling well we'll mm. attribute it to that <laughs> this is this is a tommy boy reference the fat guy in a little coat Perfect. Thank you so much. I love that you share my goodies with you. <laughs> Fragile that goes here. for both of us. Mm. Um, thank you and congratulations again on your move. That's so exciting. Yes. Don't gamble all your money away. We have some more cards. This one is from Barbara. Oh, there's like little confetti hearts and mm -hmm. butterflies. We've had these before, I've recognized this. Hi Bear and Melissa, thank you so much for the package I received yesterday. What a surprise. The extra lovely tissue paper, much appreciated. You are so thoughtful. You are such, these are such awful and depressing times with this pandemic. So nice to receive such a delightful and unexpected gift. It was fun also to win the lovely Patreon gift, mm -hmm. silver bracelet. Sad that you were discontinuing the $35 level. Mm. Hope you are both doing well and things are getting back to our normal days. Hugs, Barbara. Very Pretty nice. card, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Some sea glass. We did discontinue the top um, $35 Patreon package. It was yeah. just a lot of work. And with us not being able to thrift, that was where all of those extra goodies were coming from. But basically it was the $28 level with a few extra personalized items that we thrifted. So now it's just back to the $28 level. This is from Elizabeth. Oh, pretty. Yes, it's like an old hymnal. It does look like some music. Do you recognize it? Mm, no. Well, can soon something a horse. Yeah. Dear Melissa and Bear, hello, I've been a subscriber for a while now. I've wanted to write to thank you for your videos and for being a role model for relationship goals. No, that's nice. I'm very lucky to have found a wonderful, loving, supportive partner whose care and compassion reminds me of your care for each other. That's mm. awesome. Mm. It gives me all of the warm fuzzies and hope for the future when you talk about each other. I also love your shipping videos. They are a calming respite from social media and real life. Thank you for being who you are and sharing it in the world. Much love, Izzy. I'm it's so glad nice. you found a partner, Izzy. Yes. Thank you so much for this. Oh, I have a thing. This was just an additional card for my mom in case anybody had forgotten one, like my mom, uh, my sister, or brother-in-law. Everybody <laughs> remembered their cards, though. A package from Barbie Girl Thrifter. Barbie Girl Thrifter. Oh, is that another card? Another card in case anybody else forgot a card. Mm -hmm. I had extra cards. Oh, that's something else. These were um, from Rhea. There's something in There's words in, in there. I know. This is, these were old, though. Oh, okay. I just had to put them in my... Um, okay. Right. So Barb told me she was going to send me a book and asked if I wanted it. Which so sweet. And I did want it. <laughs> she has it wrapped quite well. Ha ha. I wrapped the Vera Bradley book before I realized, oh, well, have a great day. <laughs> She thought it was for like a customer or something and she wrapped it. Obviously, she didn't need to do that for me. A Colorful Way of Living. Um, this is Vera Bradley's story. Oh. And I have had so many Vera Bradley prints and I've been a fan of Vera for quite some time. So this will be a lot of fun for me to read. I know it's not for everybody, but um, even flipping through and recognizing some of the prints is a lot of fun. I remember you having uh, Vera Bradley things when we first got married. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And then I did the on the goes, which I still have one, but I did a whole bunch of different colors. And then I pared down and now just have the black on the go. I know. Well, well first of all, I'm going to have to go with a song reference because you put something in my head. It's going to be a deep cut, though. Okay, it's deep be really cut. Deep. Okay. You know what? I'm going to give you guys a chance to even try to think of it. A song called Fancy Colors. So I'm giving them a chance to think about it. I can right. think about it. Okay, you're thinking about it now? I'm thinking about it. 
is a song off of Chicago's, I think, debut album. I think it was their first album. The same, the same album that would have had like Color My World and 25 or 64 on. 2564. 20, 25 or 624. Oh, either one of those. <laughs> yes. You could have guessed either one of those and been right? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you could have guessed that we came off of that album, yes. Oh, they came off of one of those albums. Yes. I realize that you're poking fun. It's okay. I can take it. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pause again, clean up, and do our last box. Okay. The last box. This is a Thread Up Rescue Box, which is one of their mystery boxes. And I chose, I think it's like $28 now, the t-shirt box. So it said it was delivered and it didn't. So I reached out to Thread Up. They said they would replace it, which I thought was so nice. That's very nice. And then we got this box and it's not their box. And there's a whole bunch of writing and inside was the original label. So I'm guessing like UPS or something, FedEx probably, realized the box was damaged and repackaged it. And then it shipped a week later. Okay. So like everything inside is just pretty messy and cut up. But the t-shirts appear. Oh, I was gonna say, when you say cut up, it's not harmed. No, no, I think the t-shirts are fine though. Yes. So here is the packing slip. 25 t-shirts for $28 great even half of them fit me i go through a lot of cotton t-shirts at night sometimes with my night temp terrors and nightmares i just wake up drenched it's okay i know it's okay i, I, I hate when you get scared though i know it's much better than it used to be okay so this is a great way for me to accumulate t-shirts um and if they're big great if they're too tight i'll pass them along this one feels like cotton what does it look like Broken threads. That's a baseball shirt. Quality cotton. Perfect. Size small. Good. I'll probably cut this into a sleeveless and wear this at night. This is kind of cute though. Yeah, it is. Good. Mm -hmm. Every tailgate should feel as good. Is this a Vineyard Vines? This is Vineyard Vines. I might have to resell this. What's, uh, I, I, I'm sure, obviously it's a, some good company or something. Yeah, this little um, whale dictates, mm -hmm. that's their, their logo for Vineyard Vines. Okay. It's kind of a southern based t-shirt. They, they do other things, but I might be able to get, if this is in good condition, it looks like it's in great condition, I might be able to get 15 or $20 for this. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So yeah, it is a size small. But it might be a men's small because it's it's looking pretty. Yeah, this is a men's small. Okay. Is it tailgate season? A certain season? Well, it's usually for football they do that. Football, football season, which is fall. Fall. Mm -hmm. fall. The good old fall, fall sport. sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all knew that. I spent a lot of time on the football field in fall in the marching band. Yeah, you were in the marching band <laughs> playing, playing drums. drums. Yeah. This is J. Crew Artist T size large, the perfect t-shirt for me. I might even just keep this to wear out and about. This is everything I have in my closet looks like yeah. this. And by out and about, we mean to the doctors. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the doctors appreciate it, I'm telling yeah. you. This is Old Navy Soft Wash Medium. What does it say on the front? Marry everything. Well, okay, that's pretty good. Mary everything. Oh, it's like a um, Christmas shirt. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's not 100% cotton, I'm going to say. It's a little bit of a something sneaking in there that yeah. my body is not going to gonna love. I'm trying to do that, thus. It is cotton polyester. That's what I guessed. Yeah, this might not be a nighttime shirt, but it's cute. Maybe I'll send it to my sister or somebody else. Mm -hmm. Well, so far, I'm very pleased with this box. Ah, this is cotton. This is me. Yeah. This is bass. I used to work at bass. Oh, and it has a seahorse. Oh. Yes, it does. I love this. Well, hold it, hold it up long enough for them to okay. ascertain that it's actually a seahorse. <laughs> like stretch it maybe or something. Yeah. yeah. There Fine. we go. Mm -hmm. You mean you don't realize it's a seahorse? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, this is my size, my color. Did they put together this box especially for me? Maybe. This is XX something size medium 
I don't like the feel of this whatsoever. Uh, yeah, th that's a, a, a beer, a type of beer, I think. Oh. It even says on there, it's a different language, but it says we're thirsty. Okay. Oh. I'll look this up for eBay if this brings anything. If not, mm -hmm. we will either keep it in our car and pass it along, or um, that could be to the homeless, it could be to our charity um, in sure. town. Absolutely. I like the feel of this one. This is Banana Republic, long sleeve, soft wash tea, size medium. Again, my size, love it. I will probably keep it long sleeve because I don't have a ton of long sleeve. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a good box. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a t-shirt. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Who yeah. makes this? Tearaway tag, 100% in a size. Sorry, my hands are wobbly. Small. Would Lisa like that? Oh, uh, maybe. She drinks tea. She does drink tea. So does your mom, her, right? Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine my mom wearing this? <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. I don't want to cut it up and just like wear it. It's so well done. Yeah. That's hysterical. Okay, next one. Manly Longboard Company, Australia. Size medium, hundred percent. Okay. Oh, I like this. So I guess that's an actual surfing company. I Surf guess so. Company. That's cool. It's got a lot of discoloration on the front. Yes. I don't know if you can see that. That could just be from sitting in a box if it was in um, like a wet box mm -hmm. that might just be able to clean up, but I will definitely keep that as well. It's a lot of t-shirts. Oh, I don't like the feel of this one. That's, that's no good. Well, yeah, I mean, I understand your film, but that's not as love is in the stars harsh as normally you're opposed to. Yeah, it's a very broken in cotton poly, I'm assuming, but it is cotton poly. Let's see. It is 50 50 poly cotton. That's why there's so much. Yeah, of that's that's yeah. a no. What's the front of it? Say? Love is in the stars. Love is in the stars. It has a lot of um, just little stains mm -hmm. and a lot of pillings. So that'll be donated, I guess. I like the color. Sunday with waffles and uh, strawberries and whipped cream. <laughs> okay. Apparently you're supposed to eat that on Sunday. MC size large Sunday. It's got a lot of wear. And uncharacteristically, we have an overabundance of waffles in our freezer currently. I don't know because I went to Publix the other day and the buy one, get one free. And I was like, oh, well, maybe. Then I, I was like, oh, blueberry sounds okay. Well, maybe strawberry. Oh, there's French toast. <laughs> we must have eight boxes of them, right? Well, yeah, but I did eat a couple of them. You did eat yeah. a couple of them. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Yeah. Normally, I don't keep anything in the freezer except for ice, and I don't keep anything in the refrigerator except for water. Yes. So I don't even go into the freezer except to get ice cubes. So it was just so funny to open our freezer and have like a wall yes, of yes. waffles. Mm -hmm. Michelle by something. I don't know. It is cotton. I'll try it on. It Good. does, it should be fine for bed. Yeah. Bright pink. I like the color. Yeah, I don't like the feel. Aeropostale size extra large. It just has that same of, broken in poly yeah. cotton thing happening. Yes. It's got some wear and just little fuzzies, so. Okay. Are, are these used, some of these that they're... They're all used. They're all used. Yeah. Oh, okay, they're all used. So they're just over a dollar. Okay. Um, I mean, they, they look new, though. Most of them Some look new. Some of them new. look new. Yeah. I will possibly keep this. This is just a true cotton. And I, I like the V-neck. I recognize that name. Mossimo? It's Target. Mossimo, is that what that is? Yep. Yeah. The color isn't my favorite, but good to sleep in. Yeah. Ah, uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Is That's this awesome. an old shirt or a new shirt? That's a fairly new does shirt. does have That's double stitching, new. yeah. 2018. 100% cotton, though. Been a Muhammad Ali fan for a lot of years. We went to the um, Muhammad Ali Museum. In Kentucky. When we in were in Kentucky, Kentucky, we were in Kentucky to deliver a 
RV. RV that we had purchased and then sold and then offered to deliver to the guy, which ended up being a horrible mistake because the transmission went out part way. It cost us $2,000 to get it fixed. But it was an adventure. It wasn't quite the adventure. And, got, and even when like it went out, we were yeah. still having a good time. Yeah, and we went to the Muhammad Ali Museum. Yeah, I'll keep that. Yeah, that'll be fun. This is Advisory Automation Challenge 2019 Hackathon. Hackathon. Oh, it must be like a, would you think like a computer? Yeah, like a STEM type of thing. Uh, like a, a, con like a contest of sorts, but yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's 100% cotton. No, I don't think so. Yeah. It's 50% polyester, 25% cotton. So this is going to have to go, which is a shame because it's kind of soft. It almost made the cut. I like it's the It's a print. fun color. Yeah, it's a fun color too. Wow, we still have quite a few left. This feels thick. Yes, it does. Yes. Extra large, 100% cotton. Is it just solid black? It's just a black, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. We'll cut that one. Sometimes the thicker ones I can't sleep in because they just cause me to sweat more, but we'll see. Lularoe, size small. It's no good because of the material is... It said Heather's yeah. stuff, yes. Is polyester. This one says love, 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 love. Old Navy, size large. I think this is good. So apparent is polyester apparently a little cheaper than cotton? Yeah. Okay. It is. Because it's man-made. It is man-made. Yeah, this one I should be able to keep. Yeah. We'll try it on and make sure, but um, what did I say? It was large. It should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. This might be going to Jason, our mm -hmm. eight-year-old friend. It is going to Jason, uh, yeah, our eight-year-old friend. <laughs> He was over here a lot with Tima. They were just running around. Yes. Tima slept over, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would totally do it again, but it wiped me out for a while. Yeah. This is a Marvel medium. It's going to be big on him, but I'll offer it to him. He'll probably love it. And we will we will say that it's it's no fault at all. Tima's Tima's is a Tima is a oh, really yeah. good. And same with Jason. They're both really good kids. Such good but, kids. But you know, with her health issues as it is already. Like, Do you want to play hide and seek? I'm like, yes. <laughs> want to play hide and seek for two hours? Yes. <laughs> Just the amount of energy needed is like way too much for. I know. I want to do all of it. Yeah. J Crew extra large garment dyed tee. This is a gorgeous color. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's it. It's it's just that color. Is oh, that, that's a definite keeper. What the uh, what is the? It's not cotton. Is, is it? Yep, one hundred percent cotton. You read the label already? I haven't read the oh, label, okay. but just know it I can guarantee it is. Yeah. One hundred percent cotton. Very nice. Yeah, that's a perfect shirt for you. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. not even a cutter upper. That's just wear on a daily basis. We still have a few more. It's a good box for twenty eight dollars. Yes. Old Navy soft wash extra large. Soft wash. Mm. I don't know. I, 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 it's okay. Yeah, this material feels all right. It feels all right. It's the cotton polyester, but the cotton is 60. It's, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep in it. We'll be able to see if I'll be able to even wear it around the house. Yeah. Got a lot of a print of something here. I'll say. Stay young. Young and reckless? Stay young and reckless, yes. Is that a thing? I apparently. <laughs> what's, what's young and reckless? Is that a um, youngandreckless.com? Is that a soap opera? I thought is that the young and restless? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, extra large. It's a hundred percent cotton. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that one. I might yeah. have enough at this point. Mm -hmm. This is oh, adorable. Was it Peace Bahamas or wait? Yeah. Bahamas, yeah. I think it's Peace in the top. Yes. It's not vintage. Oh, almost though. Wow, that that label is like nineties. Yeah. This is. It's cute. really bright. The it's the really graphics bright. Are still really bright. On it. I don't see any um, labels past this one. Hundred percent cotton though. That's a keeper, I think. That mm -hmm. one's cute. We've got two more. Puma? Is that how we... I don't know. Yeah. Is it Puma? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's quite the t-shirt. I was asking how you say that, though. Yeah, it is Puma. Puma. It feels like cotton. It is a large... 
And it doesn't say, it says wash when dirty. Well, that's good advice. <laughs> Red, this is not my, my favorite at all. Yeah. But I might be able to get away with it. We'll see. I might have enough at this point. This is organic cotton. <laughs> Beer, period. <laughs> sea Dog Brewing. I'm not a fan of beer, but I'm not not a fan of beer. Oh, we just can't stand the taste of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Plus, with my meds, I don't drink. Yeah, all right. But, okay, I'm going to guess I got at least half of those. Oh, yeah, I would say so. Go. I would say so, yes. That was a, a great purchase for $28. Right? Yep. Score. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good job, thread up. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was our last box. I have one more box, but I will be doing that in a different video and probably just putting that on Patreon. So I'm sorry about that. Anything to tell us? Mm. Well, we are sad to see summer leaving us. Yes. We didn't make it to the beach as much as we wanted to, which is always the case for us, but. Yeah, with a catheter yeah. in, there's only so many things you can <laughs> yeah, do. Right. That's true. We might make it to the beach. My mom um, and her, my whole family was here for Wednesday to Wednesday for her 60th birthday. So they went to the beach a few times. My niece had an excellent time. She doesn't care if it's a little bit dreary out or there's a little bit of waves. My mom wanted to see it a little bit flat, which didn't happen because of the Hurricane Sally passing, which we didn't get hit by anything, but you know, just anything in the Gulf is gonna cause some waves. But they swam in the pool for, a day or two. Well, plus uh, Tima is 11 and Jason's eight, so they had a great time they together had a great just time. doing whatever. Yeah, they made slime several times. Mm -hmm. So, and they mm -hmm. pranked each other and just had a blast running around mm -hmm. and having a good time. But I think we'll probably make a point to go to the beach maybe here in a week or two. I don't think it's going to be warm enough to swim. I think that's about it. it. Not for us anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, we have the heated pool. So if we get a really hot day, we could probably swim depending on how you heal and the doctor's okay. Mm -hmm. But we might be able to swim more. Sure. But yeah, we had a better pool season than we did beach season, I would say. Yes. Yes. And we're, one of the things we're looking forward to at some point, what, remember what we're going to do? One of the things we're going to do? I have no idea. We're going to go see goats. We are going to go see goats. Well, you know what though? There's, maybe they, remember they have like fairs at the end of the, wonder if they, maybe they'll, they'll have they them with COVID. Won't. They won't have them. Yeah. All right. There is a place locally that has goats that you can come and see. So once everything settles down with the world. We would yeah. like to go see goats. Now, I'm pretty sure you're allergic to goats. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, we're we might not gonna, have to take some allergy meds. Well, but. I mean, it's just a place that has farm animals. It's not necessarily just goats. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And you're allergic to most farm animals. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> but you still love animals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And we said for your birthday we were going to do that. And, of course, your birthday passed months ago. And, yeah. And, yeah. and maybe we even get to see some pigs. That'd and, be very exciting. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we've been doing okay. Seriously, we've just been been rough couple of weeks, but we're yeah, we're making we're we're making it. Yeah, yeah. I'm continuing to get my lidocaine injections every other week, and that's going pretty well. And the next time they're going to try something else, they're going to try mixing a little something. They're going to try lidocaine with Kenalog, which is a steroid. So mixing just the tiniest bit in to see how my body tolerates it, because sometimes I have um, adverse reactions to things unexpectedly um, and then going from there maybe that will help the lidocaine last a little bit longer where I'm not going every other week for injections and you'll be jacked <laughs> with steroids <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> <laughs> all right I think that's it I think that's it for us for today yep thank you so much for joining us and we're doing our regular thing on three ready one two three Bloomies. Bloomies. We, we hope, hope your day, day is, is blooming, blooming with joy. joy. Bye. Bye-bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.